Friends, in the last video, I have shown you how to present more than one raster in single layer. And in that case, I have shown you that we can use a single scale work for all the maps since zoom level are similar for all. But in this case, we cannot compare all the maps since you see the maximum for this layer is means 331 and minimum is 97. In this case, this is 39 and 274. So, the maximum greenness in the legend we are giving to 274. Here in this case, we are giving 331. Similarly, the minimum redness we are giving 39 here and 97 here. We cannot compare. It is difficult to compare these maps based on separate legends. If you want to give a single legend, how to do it, we will be seeing in this video. It will be looking like this. See, the maximum in 2011 is 368. Maximum in value for the 13, 2013 year is 368. Minimum is 39 for 2012 image. So, many if you are googling it, you will find only they are given that common legend for vector data only. How to do it in raster data, we will see in this video how we have developed this map. So, for that, two to three steps we will we have to follow and we will see same map prepared here. So, overall, what we are doing, we are taking a single legend which is covering the minimum value of all these six, this six image is that is 39 and maximum of all these six images that is 368. So, we have to prepare one legend covering the entire value that is 39 to 368. So, how to do this? We have some two, three steps we have to follow. First is, I am doing all these operations in the first layer. So, how to do this? First is, you go to our toolbox. There, in the special analysis tool, you will find raster creation. Here, you go to create random raster. What it will do? It will create a raster with random values of the same extent having values of 0 to 1. So, you double click it and you see what it does. It creates a raster of random floating point values between 0 to 1 within the extent and cell size of the analysis window. So, suppose this is my output raster and then cell size since our, our cell size is 30 meters. So, we are giving 30 meter and then extent we have to give of the same image. Okay and click OK. So, what it has created? It has created a layer with value of 0 to 1. Now, since our data is an integer and I want to create a raster which is having values from 39 to 368. So, how to do it? We go again to our toolbox and then a special analysis tool and then map algebra and then raster calculator. Here, we will create an integer map. So, first get integer then click this map into since we are having 39 plus so it will be 0 to like 329 and then 39 will, will add it will go to 368 so 329 I am giving and then plus 39 so click ok now our value is 39 to 367. It is okay. You can again create one more map. You can reject this since we need 330, 368. So, we will create an, another one. Integer. Then this is raster. Then into 330 and then plus 39. Now, see what happens. So, now uh, this is our desired raster 39 to 368. Before that, we will be removing all these legends first because we don't need legends on for all. Now, you can create a legend first for this image raster, and then similar way we will do. Like we have to maintain this legend and then maximum value, then minimum value, click OK and then insert legend and we need only for this third one, raster calculator 3 and next, next, finish. So, this is the desired legend for each map. 
so we will do some operations here we don't need this legend written and then if you want to have a horizontal legend we can do it like this as shown in the previous video the link for that video is given in the description so this is my legend layout also we can increase the width of like 50 and then ok so this is the single legend we want now we can convert it to graphics okay. and this we will need this legend now this legend is common for all we can keep somewhere now what we have to do go to the properties of this raster and go to unique values and select the legend theme and click apply ok so this is how you are having a raster with 39 to 368 so now if you in some image if the maximum value is 335 350 this color will be there only not this color ok in some case if you are having minimum value of 97 so this color will be there not the darkest red so now how to do it now now right click on this image and then save layer as so I am keeping it as common one save it now we can remove this image we don't we don't need this now go for each we will give this same legend for means uh, the color scheme for every raster by going to the properties symbology and here you will add import import which one that's common one you click ok see we have selected stretched so this is showing error we have to go for unique values and then you go to import it and then common one ok and ok see it is now similar to this one similarly for each layer we will be doing it go to unique values and then import the same color scheme ok ok for this also import ok ok similarly for go to unique values get the defined layer scheme click ok ok the rest two are like unique values import ok and Similarly, the last one, go to unique values, import the last this scheme, add, ok, apply, ok. So, this map is now comparable, we can now compare these rainfalls in different years for, the, for a region. So, this is how we can give one single legend for all the map. Now, it is easier to compare these rainfalls. Thank you for watching.